Good morning and welcome to Morning Walk. I hope that you're enjoying your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And this morning I want to talk about something that typically interferes with a, with a genuine uh, walk of faith, a genuine relationship with, with Jesus. And, and that would be self-consciousness. I want you to stop and think with me a moment because we are often very conscious about ourselves and what's going on in our lives. And so are you self-conscious? If so, it's one of the greatest, frankly, sins among Christians that there is because a self-consciousness distracts us from a God awareness, a God consciousness. And frankly, the outworking of self-consciousness for the Christian really translates into you and I attempting to try to live the Christian life, which is probably the, the second greatest sin of the Christian, trying to live the Christian life, which is impossible. And so these two kind of go together, don't they? If we are self-conscious about being obliged to live the Christian life by our own self-effort, then no doubt we are engaged in the sinfulness of self-effort and are obviously failing to recognize that the Christian life can, can only be lived out by the grace of God in Jesus Christ. Now, we may know that in theory, but oftentimes we find ourselves attempting to do what only Christ could do. And our society, and even the church today, is extremely individualistic and frankly narcissistic. And many are self-preoccupied uh, and self-absorbed. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> it's all about what I want. <laughs> and, and much of our culture, you know, that's, that would be kind of the, uh, the, the tag name for our culture. It's, it's all about me. <laughs> and so Christian religion hasn't helped matters, is it? Christian, religious has infil in Christian religion has infiltrated our culture and church today. And, and unfortunately, many Christians have adapted, adapted a, a selfish perspective, the same kind of selfish perspective of, of the world. And, and so too many Christians think that salvation is uh, more of a benefit than it is a relationship, something that they receive to possess, and then once they possess it, they believe that the Christian life becomes something that they must do, that they must maintain, that it's up to them to, to live it. And so as Christians, we need to be admonished, don't we? We need to be admonished to the ultimate purpose to live in accord in relationship with Christ, not the, not the rules and the regulations of do this and don't do that, or the thinking that in, unless we're a part of a group or an institution that we can't maintain a, a righteous standing before God. No, being Christian, frankly, is not about me. It's not about you. Thank God. Paul wrote, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Do you hear what he's trying to tell us? It's about Christ. The Christian life is the Christ life. It's the outlived life of Jesus as we walk by faith, allowing our attitudes, our behavior to faithfully express the character of God through us as we simply participate with him. It's a walk of faith. It's a moment by moment walk where we're trusting and believing. And so if you are self-consciously concerned with how well you're doing in your Christian life <laughs> and whether or not you're measuring up to some specific behavioral norm, even seeking to be like Jesus, 
Well, then you are sinfully focused on yourself and failing to recognize that the Christian life is a conscious awareness of Christ as your life. You see, God consciousness is Christian. So may I encourage you to be aware, participate with Jesus today, experiencing life as he intended.